Hey there Gemini, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for July 10th to the 16th. Let's jump on in and see what is on the cards for you for the week. Uh, what I'm going to do is start with a Moonology Oracle card. I will then be drawing you a major arcana and then we'll get stuck in with the right away. Okay, so let's see what we have for you Gemini. What is your most relevant message? And I have prosperity lies ahead. This is the new moon in Taurus energy here, Gemini. And, you know, it's really saying that there is some kind of abundance or some kind of um, success or achievement that can come out of maybe a new beginning here that you may have already started, you may have already initiated. It's the Taurian energy. So it could be a new commitment. It could be a new investment. It could be a new work career. So let's dive a little bit uh, deeper into this, Gemini. I'm going to draw you a major arcana from the moon child tarot to build on this message so we've got an idea here that there is prosperity there is abundance coming through oh my goodness i've got the hierophant which is the major arcana of taurus i had that in my mind's eye when i was talking about that card okay so this can talk about a new commitment here um usually sort of a traditional commitment so this could be prosperity in a relationship you know going to the next level higher commitment in marriage this could be prosperity in um education you know you might be studying you might have just started a course or a degree or a diploma a certificate um or in your career because the hierophant is the is these really big structures and systems in our lives now the hierophant also says that you're an important turning point here and maybe beginning this new journey was part of that turning point now spirit really wants you to move in alignment with your truth and your core values and that is how you will end up in that place of success in that place of abundance that place of prosperity so beautiful energy um, you know a lot of that coming through also very positive for for money as well with the Taurus energy so let's jump into the tarot now just to let you know if you'd like a personal reading first link below will jump me across my website to check those out grab my free learn tarot quick guide if you'd like to get started reading the cards for yourself or to dive deeper you can join the initiation which is my paid offering You'll learn a full foundation in tarot and my signature reading process. And jump on over to Instagram for daily readings and other content as well. I'd love to see you over there. All right, well, I'm going to start with a situational energy here. Gemini and I have pulled all the Seven of Swords. That is interesting. So we've got a lot of prosperity here. You know, we've got a new direction that's feeling positive. But the situational energy is the Seven of Swords. Now, this may be where you've come from, right? Maybe up until now, you haven't been able to achieve that goal. Now, that could have been a mixture of maybe our own self-sabotage or, you know, energies around us that weren't positive or might have been undermining us or putting a block or obstacle in the way of that journey towards prosperity. So we have the Seven of Swords here. Let's get another one for that. And of course, number seven for me is about the attainment of that goal. So the Seven of Swords is saying there's been some kind of block of you getting to that, you know, beautiful flourishing commitment or that abundance, that prosperity, that next level in that situation. King of Swords is coming through and this is asking you, Gemini, to really be in your, your full maturity energy here. Take a step back and look at the big picture. This is a bit of a strategic move for your future here is what I'm really feeling. Now, this is often a decision-making energy. And the decision with that new moon and Taurus energy coming through, Gemini, might have been, you know, do I commit to this or not? You know, this is a big commitment. And there might have been parts of you that were like, well, you know, it hasn't worked out in the past. Maybe we shouldn't go there. What if we get hurt? What if we waste money? What if we waste time? What if it, you know, that's the seven of swords. It can be within ourselves. Or there might be people in your environment that are saying, you going back to university at this age, whatever. Or are you, you know, are you really getting married again? Whatever it is, you know, because it's a general reading. This is about you seeing your direction and where you truly want to go, Gemini, and making decisions that are truly in alignment with that. Let's see if we have any other blocks around you really pursuing this prosperous new beginning. 
any more blocks, please. We have got the, ooh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, and it's in the block, right? Now, the Ace of Cups for me is the emotional aspect, the feeling aspect, and fully surrendering to that new beginning. So with the Seven of Swords coming through, Gemini, it feels like there is a factor here um, that is maybe stopping you from really launching into this and owning this new beginning. Okay, so we need to unlock this Ace of Cups, which, you know, really is you making a decision to move towards what's really going to be satisfying for you. Okay, what's the advice, please? What is the advice? The advice is, oh, the lovers. You know, this could be in love for many of you, just saying. I mean, it doesn't have to be with the Hierophant. It talks about those big commitments, but I do have the love energies coming through. Now, Gemini, this also happens to be your major arcana, okay? So it feels like you are either in control of this or maybe you are needing to step up into a greater sense of control. But the Lovers is, again, about choices. And, you know, we've already seen that with the King of Swords coming through. It's asking you to make this choice on what you're really feeling. This is a heart decision and a little bit of a strategic decision as well, but you're really being asked to feel into this because you might, with the Seven of Swords coming through, have people in your environment or voices within yourself that are saying, look, this doesn't really add up. Maybe you shouldn't move towards this. But the lover says, you know, this is a big decision and this could actually be very harmonious for you and prosperous as well. All right, what else does Gemini need to know? What else does Gemini need to know? We have got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, what I'm really feeling here, Gemini, is that if you commit to this new beginning, if you put the work in, you are carving out your own direction here. You are going to be proud of what you achieve, but yes, it is going to take some work. It is going to take some effort. Um, but yeah, it feels like a positive new direction that is really in alignment with your truth. The Page of Swords is here and it's saying, take those steps, be all in, prosperity lies ahead, you know, unlock that Ace of Cups. Yes, you might have an energy in your environment saying, oh, well, this maybe isn't the best idea for you, but this is about you making the decision from your truth and your heart. Uh, Spirit says that if you commit to whatever this is, you can make a huge success of it and you can also change your direction in some way. Gemini, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. I am sending you so much love and magic for the week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now. <laughs>